I am what you see. And I've always been like this. I've served the people of Gibraltar for 43 years, and if they don't like the way I am, they shouldn't vote for me. What I say, look, if I think that I cannot say something in my own office, in a private conversation, because of fear that somebody might take me and put it on the social media, I would think Gibraltar today is a much worse place than when I started in politics. But it didn't appear to be directed at civil servants because I was talking about the health authority, which is not civil service, and I was talking in answer to a question, and the bit that was edited and was put there was put there to put it in a particular light. And I'm certainly not apologizing for anything to anybody that I say in my office simply because somebody chooses to make it public. Because then all of us have got to be held accountable for every we say in our homes or in our office in private. But I think people understand the point of uh, it being a covert recording. But what would you say to civil servants who might be watching or listening and thinking that you referred to them in a rather derogatory way? Well, look, in my own house and in my own office, I refer to my comrades in a way that you might consider derogatory because it's not the kind of language that you use. But you're not going to tell me what language I have to use in my office. And if somebody puts it in the public domain, well, I wouldn't say that of anybody in the public domain. I, I have made... In, in interviews with you before, comments about how, in my judgment, ministers are brainwashed into doing things. And the opposition has made a, a big song and dance about this. Well, look, we can have politics where what we think we don't say, or we say what we think. And if people don't like the way that I express myself, this is a democracy and they stop voting for me. But, uh, and, but I am not but, going to be anything different mm. at the age of 76 sure from what I've been for the last 43 years. Uh, and you take me as I am or you leave me. At the end of the day, I feel I'm entitled to be myself because I give my country and I give my people seven days a week, 12 hours a day of work, and I do it willingly because I care about them. And I'm not going to have people saying to me, as well as doing that, you must watch what you say and how you say it, because somebody might think things like that should not be said. The people who throw things up in horror are think people who are not saints in this little country of ours, you see? It's other that, that there are many, many, many people who think that you have, depending on what audience you address, you need to say things in one way or the other. This is not my way and it's not my style. And people of Gibraltar have voted for me in the 11 elections, the 12th one is this time, and they voted yeah. for me knowing how I am.